Greetings, Internet, and welcome to yet another episode of Insane Ian Eats Weird Crap. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done one of these where I've eaten something odd. A lot of the things that I've done recently have been fast food items, but we're getting into Halloween candy season and Halloween treat season, and this is the time when all the weird stuff comes out. I kind of like the weird stuff. I can't do chocolate a whole lot anymore. I, I, I kind of limit it. My kind of limit my sugars, so this is going to be an indulgence for me, as it were. And also, it's been a while since I've done a taste test video. I did a poll on Twitter recently asking which of my videos people seem to like the most, and uh, Insane and Taste Tests won out huge. Now, admittedly, a lot of the new subscribers I have don't follow me on the other social media more than likely so they probably missed out on the poll because the reaction videos, especially the ERB ones, are doing really well. So that's very encouraging, and thank you all for supporting that. But in the meantime, you can of course always follow me at InsaneIanB on both Twitter and Instagram, and on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash InsaneIanMusic. Yes, I obviously do a lot more than music, but uh, mostly what I originally do is comedy music. But Today, I'm trying uh, some uh, weird things. Namely, I'm trying the Zombie Skittles. I'm very afraid of this. And this year's Mystery Oreo flavor. A couple years ago, they did a Mystery Oreo, and I did that on the channel, and it turned out to be like Fruity Pebbles or something like that. Yeah, I think it was a Fruity Pebbles flavor. Uh, I haven't heard from anybody what this one is supposed to taste like. I've just heard that it's not good. But there's a guess the flavor for a chance to win $50,000. History is divided on how this came to exist. A shepherd, a sailor, there's no easy fix. There's a riddle on how to figure out the mystery flavor? Go to mysteryoreo.com to uncover more clues and submit your guess. Well, this'll be a challenge. Anyway, we're gonna dig into these. I love the Stay Fresh packaging. All right. All right, I'm getting a stronger scent of the cookie than I usually do. The cream is odd smelling and odd looking. These are kind of sloppy looking Oreo cookies. It's not your typical nice cream look. It's just very odd. It's really cookie forward on the smell, even though I'm just sniffing the cream by itself. We're gonna try the cream first, and then we're gonna try it with the cookie, because obviously that's the, the real flavor profile is supposed to be in the cream. So, here we go. I'm getting nothing. It tastes like an Oreo cookie. It tastes exactly like the cream normally does. I'm getting nothing from that. That's bizarre. None of these look good. They all look super sloppy. We're gonna try another one here. I'm gonna try it with the cookie this time to see if that influences the flavor. Because I really didn't get anything from the cream. They're just Oreos. I'm getting nothing from that. I'm actually kind of disappointed, because, you know, I'm doing a show. But also, I, I expected them to taste like something, but I'm really getting nothing at all from this. And I went into this with a completely clean palate, too. I haven't really eaten much of anything today, so... Weird. Speaking of weird, zombie Skittles. Have you guys heard about this? Okay, beware. Most taste delicious, but some taste like rotten zombie. Dare to try? How... How did the people who make Skittles know what rotten zombie tastes like? This is more disconcerting than the fact that they've harnessed that flavor and put it into a Skittle. They're taking a page out of the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean playbook, and they're doing that with Skittles. Now, obviously, this is a Halloween flavor. Beware, a rotten zombie taste can be hiding behind any of these colors. Blood Red Berry, Petrifying Citrus Punch, which is orange, Mummified Melon, which is green, Chilling Black Cherry, which is purple, and Boogeyman Blackberry, which is blue. It says rotten zombie, but there's no color for the rotten zombie, which means, I'm assuming, that it could be colored like the ones that are posted on the back, but it could taste like a dead reanimated human. Again, 
where do you get that flavor profile from? So I'm a little scared of this. I don't usually eat Skittles anyway, they get stuck in my teeth. I do think it's a great idea. Well, not really so much a great idea, but I, I do think it's a fun idea to take M&Ms and Skittles and put them in the same bowl only because it's an OCD thing and people will want to separate them, but also you just have a bowl of S&Ms. Seems like fun. But anyway, and in order to try to find the proper flavor, I'm gonna do these individually. Now we've got two of the melon and one of the citrus punch here. I'm not gonna eat both melon together because one of them's gotta be a zombie flavor. So we're going with one of the melon first because the other one might be the bad one. We don't know, it's a game. <laughs> what is my life? All right, that one's fine. Let's go with the uh, citrus, citrus punch. Still fruity, still fine. Going for the other melon. So far, so good. We've got a couple more miscreants here. We've got another melon, another citrus, a couple blackberry, and a couple of the red berry, cherry, whatever it was called. Blood red berry. So we got three of those, we got three of the blackberry. Haven't gotten any of the purple one yet. Let's try these. Okay, had a couple blackberry back to back, and I got one that tastes a little off, but it doesn't taste horrible. It kind of put a weird smell in my nose when I bit into it, but it's not disgusting. Now, admittedly, I'm not expecting to start retching. I kind of was expecting to start retching a little, I have to admit. So I'm not fully convinced that there was something wrong with that one. I had three in a row and they all tasted relatively the same, except that last one was off a little. So I don't know. This may take longer than I expected too. I don't, I don't know about this. That we may be, yeah. Lots of chewing sounds. My dentist is gonna hate me. Trying for a purple one this time. The uh, chilling black cherry. So far, no zombie flavor, I don't think. All right, so that black cherry one tasted off like the blackberry one did. It's not terrible, but I guess that's supposed to be the zombie flavor. It's not a bad flavor, it's just kind of, huh, that tasted weird and off. No, that one's citrusy. Well, after a good two or three handfuls, the results are inconclusive. I don't know. I tasted a couple that tasted a little off from what their flavors, I guess, were supposed to be, but and nothing tasted like rotting human flesh. Not that I would know what rotting human flesh tastes like either. I don't know. Anyway. I'm kind of unimpressed by those, and I'm kind of unimpressed by the uh, Oreos this year. Is my tongue broken? Did uh, too many of these videos really ruined my flavor palette? I don't know. If you guys have tried these, let me know about them. I mean, leave a comment down below so I can, you know, hear your opinion on these flavors, if you've tried them, if you haven't found any of the zombie stuff or anything like that, or if you have any suggestions for me to try stuff. As always, I am on Patreon, where you can get to see these videos early, get to hear songs before anybody else, and all sorts of fun stuff like that, as well as, you know, just videos here every single week on Thursdays. Please like, share, and subscribe, because everybody at the end of a video has to say that. But yeah, you know, it's a video thing. Thanks for watching, y'all. Goodbye! If I jammed a whole bunch of these in my mouth at once, would that be a poor choice or... Hmm. Yeah, it was a poor choice. Not for the flavor, just for the giant ball of sugar. Ah. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a 